Okay, high energy clutching. Um, precision is the name of the game when it comes to clutching. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. We pulled these off the shelf um, just now. These are 61 grams, so these would be appropriate for an NA850. Um, so, so a tenth of a gram light, a, a tenth of a gram and one hundredth. Look at that, within a couple hundredths. Again, within a couple hundredths. That's how we precision batch all of our clutch weights. So then beyond that, let's talk a little bit about these capsules. So number 10s, I've got four capsules. Your weights will come with three capsules. We have a ton of different capsules um, and it can be a little bit confusing, but don't let it be overwhelming. So number 10 is really what we standardize the weight around. And so you, this is kind of the standard one. And so why is this a number 10? So it doesn't weigh 10 grams. It actually weighs seven grams. We didn't try to make it confusing. The fact that this is one inch long, so that's a number 10. And so a number 11 is 1.1 inches long. So one of the things to keep these really precise is if you notice how these are threaded and then have a shoulder. Okay, so a lot of weights that load from the rear like this, they thread the entire bore and then you screw something in and you bottom it out on the bottom. Or you can put, you can stack stuff up to change the height of it and you have to pick different weight materials of, of these, they can be longer, but they're not really precision on where they stop. So this is part of the way, why we designed this this way. Is so it comes down and stops on that shoulder. It stops on that shoulder in all three weights. And so it's in the same spot every time. And then they don't come loose because you can tighten them down against that shoulder. So really precision. Um, the weight, the way the weight's designed, it works um, more consistently than any weight that we've ever used in the past. That's part of the reason we designed it the way it was, was, was for that result. So it works way more consistently. So that's a number 10. So a number 10 is obviously longer, it's gonna weigh more than a number eight, which is 0.8 inches long. And so you would change you know, you would change that. Like I said, number 10 is a standard. So when you get your clutch weights and you open them, put a number 10 in, that's where you would start. If you want to get a little more RPM on the peak, then put a number eight in. We make them all the way down to six and we go all the way up to a 17. Now, there is a difference when it comes to odd and even capsules. So if you're a guru and you really, really want to um, be finicky, you really want to do some fine tuning, then we can, you can mess with the cap. You can mess with different capsules. The fact is, is that the three capsules that come with this is what most people are going to want. Here's an 11. Okay, and so I wanted to show you the difference between the odds and the evens. So an 11 is 1.1 inches long, but it's long in a different spot. See that? It's the same length here. So it's basically a number 10, but it's heavier on the heel. And so if you know what that does for you, you'll know that you can put an odd capsule in. So if 10 was good and I wanted the same peak RPM, but I wanted a little bit more belt grab on the bottom end, then I could throw an odd in there and that would do just a really precision, really fine tune adjustment on the bottom end. So one of the cool things about these is that you can change them on the trail. So a number 10 might be exactly what you need when you leave the parking lot and a number eight might be what you want when you get up on the hill. So it's a really quick, easy adjustment to make and it lands in the same spot every single time.